Hi everyone, today I'm going to be repairing this Princess of the Danish Court Barbie. You can see here that she's got quite a lot of sun yellowing, so I'm going to be sorting that out with this Jerome Russell Cream Hair Bleach, which I use for this kind of thing all the time. What you do is you lather the yellowing with the, with the hair bleach and put it out in the sun. It may take one or two applications, but it does work really well. Unfortunately, while I was removing the head, I've actually broken the neck on the doll. It was quite brittle um, and the plastic just cracked in a little place there. But I have saved all the pieces and I will be able to repair that. For the repair, I'll be using an acrylic nail kit as seen on A Thousand Splendid Dolls. So I've got a small bottle lid here, bottle cap, to mix my acrylic liquid and powder into. You need a, like a small deep dish so that your acrylic liquid doesn't, doesn't run everywhere. I got this set from eBay. This is the acrylic liquid. So I'm pouring that in first. This is the one that I'm using. It's just a, any, any kind will do as long as it's the acrylic liquid. And then I've also got some clear acrylic powder, acrylic nail powder. And I'm just gonna tip some of that in and give it a mix up. Mix it to like a wart, try and make it watery. The trouble is this stuff thickens up really quickly and it'll go quite gloopy if you're not careful. So I'm trying to leave it thin, but you can see already it's going quite thick. So once you've got your stuff mixed together, you, I'm using a nail art tool here just to apply it around the edge of the broken part of the neck. So I'm just gonna spread it on and spread it around the, the edge of the neck where it's broken, quite a thick layer of it if I can. Once I've got this in once I've got this layered on around the edge here, I'm going to put the neck piece back inside there, the bit that adjoins the neck to the head, and then I'm going to carefully place the broken pieces back into position and this acrylic mix will hold them firmly into place. It can be quite fiddly but it really is worth persevering and getting them into position as, as well as you can. Leave that to dry for a while. Just wash off any excess you can just around the bottom of her neck. I'm just going to wash clean that off if I can because I'm don't want it to show once her head's on. I don't think it will, but yeah, there's a few little bits I've got that I don't need like around there. Just try and remove that if you can before it dries on solid. Yeah, it does It does dry pretty solid. You can see it's still, it's not quite dry yet. Just have a bit of a test of it and you can see that it's still not dry. It's still uh, quite pasty, so. Okay, so I've left that a good 30 minutes to dry and now I'm going to give it a little, just going to file off the extra bits with my little nail file here. Try not to file the part of the neck that hasn't got any um, acrylic on it because you don't want to leave scratch marks on the neck. Once you finish filing, give it a good wipe, a good clean with a cloth or give her a wash under the tap whatever you need to do to get all that filing dust off there make sure she's nice and clean and then when you're ready very carefully uh, reattach your head i have warmed the neck of mine up a bit so that it's softer and goes on a little bit easier so that's her head safely back on and thankfully you can barely see that crack where it was broken so I'm going to now, you can see there, look, I've got a necklace back on as well and you can just barely see that crack. So now that I've got her all cleaned and done and got her head back on, I'm going to put her dress on. I've given the dress a good wash. It ha did have water stains on it, which I've removed. I've had to repair a little bit just here. You can see that it doesn't undo at the top, so you've got to... I undid the back of the dress and then you have to put it on her without actually undoing the neck, if that makes sense. So not only is the doll fragile, but you can see here that I've had to 
repair the lace on the back of her neck because when I was taking it off her, I pulled it and that lace just tore. So here's what I need to do. I had to unpick the dress to take it off. So now I need to re-stitch it. You can see where it needs stitching. Her shoes are there. Let's see how we get on with this stitching. I couldn't wash the dress. Well, I suppose I could have washed the dress while it was still on her, but I didn't want to do that. I'm going to put my needle under here and through the seam there, like that. And then if I lay it flat, I can go into the dress, into the seam again, just a tiny, tiny bit. When you finish sewing up the dress, make sure you go through the seam and just finish off underneath the dress there. You can do a nice um, finishing knot in the seam on the inside so that it doesn't show on the outside of your dress, just to uh, help with making it look neater. The next thing I'm gonna do is sew her lock of hair back into position. It was sewn onto her collar here. So I'm just gonna add my thread here and I've chosen white because it's the same colour as her hair. Come get her hair in place and just stick, put a couple of stitches in there just to hold it in place. I think one stitch will do. I'll just finish that off. I'm just worried about that lace again. It really is so fragile. There we are. And snip off the... So, pop her shoes on. And she's done. She's all ready for display. I hope that was useful to someone. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.